Good morning everyone and welcome back to our vlog. Um, <clears throat> today's vlog will just be um, another random vlog, <laughs> vlog, but I am trying my best to pick up the camera whenever I remember. And at the moment I am making some dinner for tonight. I'm doing a prep so um, when the kids get home from school, um, I tend to be less likely <laughs> to actually start prepping dinner. Um, and then we usually have something simple. So lately I've been trying my best to prep it while they're at school um, and then actually cook it um, while they're here. So I got this idea on TikTok um, and I am about to put these in the oven at 180 for 40 minutes. So in here we've got, um, like it said on TikTok, just to use all the veggies um, that you have on hand. Um, so I've got zucchini, tomato, cauliflower, a um, green and uh, yellow capsicum, some carrot, uh, I think I said onion, yeah. Um, and then I just um, coated it in avocado oil, put some turmeric, um, Italian herbs and salt and pepper. So I'm about to put this in the oven and yeah, hopefully it turns out good. I have just popped that in the oven. Um, don't mind my voice, I am still sick. Um, the sickness in the house has just literally been circling, or circling around from person to person. Um, so don't mind my voice. But um, yeah, that is now in the oven. I set the timer for 40 minutes. Um, Noah is, well, he was playing in his room. Now he's coming out. Um, but I've been setting a goal lately because we do get a fruit and veggie box. Um, Noah, Noah has joined me now. <laughs> um, yeah, so we do get a fruit and veggie box delivered once a week and I've been trying to make it my mission to finish everything in the box. Um, <laughs> you've been silly. Um, everything in the box before we get the new one. Um, um, so yeah, I'm really, really close this week. I think I have about three tomatoes left, one zucchini a carrot and some <laughs> avocado, I'm pretty sure. Okay, he is in a silly mood, so I've now distracted him in his room with some toy cars for a moment. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, we're almost finished um, and we do get our box delivered today. Um, and um, I never know what is going to be in our boxes, so it's a completely complete surprise. And we have a mix of um, veggies each week, which keeps it in interesting. It's not the same um, veggies each week, although we usually do get like the um, main veggies like cucumber, broccoli, carrot and, s and stuff. Um, we have been getting a lot of eggplant lately and um, I'm not a big fan of eggplant, but I do want to try and find a recipe that has eggplant in it so I can use it because I hate wasting it <clears throat> and I did also see on TikTok um, somebody doing a 30-day challenge of ingredient only ingredients only sorry um, so they are making um, their food from scratch for 30 days including like no packet snacks because she has two kids um, and I'd really like to give that a try. Maybe not for the whole 30 days. Um, maybe for the first time I might give it a try for one week and see how we go. Um, uh, maybe in the school holidays. I think that would be fun. And then I would also have the kids here to also help me, um, make like snacks, bliss balls, like make everything from scratch. I think that would be really fun for them. Um, I'm thinking about giving that a go in the next school holidays, which is in a week and a half, I believe. Um, so yeah, I don't know that. It, uh, I don't know if I have mentioned it on my vlog before, but at the beginning of the year, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. Um, it is an autoimmune disease that affects your thyroid, <coughs> your thyroid function, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So. Um, this is my second week of changing my diet to gluten and dairy free because um, I have done a lot of research and found that they can be triggers and make things worse, like make your symptoms worse and yeah, just really, um, yeah, just not good. So I did cut um, gluten and dairy out um, last Monday um, 
I did accidentally have gluten once because I didn't realize that there was gluten in a certain barbecue sauce that we buy. Um, and I did use it for shepherd's pie. Um, but now I have swapped that barbecue sauce over for a gluten-free barbecue sauce. Um, yeah, so there's been a couple, couple things that I completely didn't think it was in there. So I didn't think to check. But now I am checking absolutely everything, even if I think that there's no way that there's gluten in there, I have been checking. The veggies are all done now. I just got them out of the oven. As you can see, they are hot. So I'm gonna wait until they cool down and then I'm gonna add them into the blender. For lunch today, I am having gluten-free bread, um, which is toasted, some hummus, kale. Um, this is some mixture that I made up for taco night. It has celery, capsicum, um, carrots. Um, what else did I put in there? Um, and just a whole bunch of veggies um, with some lentils. Um, so I had heaps left over, so I put that on here today. Um, tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then a hash brown on top. Okay, our new box of fruit and veggie has been delivered. So the first thing, we got this massive <laughs> lettuce. Um, we got another eggplant, some spring onions. Um, th I've never actually seen these ones before. They have like a wider, wider top. Um, we got a whole bag of button mushrooms a papaya, some bananas, um, two things of broccoli, three zucchinis, a whole bunch of tomatoes, um, three large um, avocados. Uh, I also need to find a way to use these more because I, I don't use them enough. In a minute. Um, a whole bunch of um, carrots, four cucumbers, two um, passion fruits, some more capsicum, another head of cauliflower. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me what this is, <laughs> but whatever that is. Um, I also don't really know what these are. I'm pretty sure they're called pear apples, but we got four of the, oh, five of those, sorry. Um, two lemons, um, a sweet potato, a whole bunch of um, apples. We have green and also red. We got two pineapples, a clove of, I mean, not a clove. What is this called? A bulb of garlic, um, some mandarins, a large thing of red grapes, um, a couple oranges. And then we also, I didn't get them out of the box, but we also got some potatoes and some onions. So um, this week, this is all we had left in our um, veggie drawer, as well as um, as well as some sweet potato, um, ginger, and a couple of onions. And like I said, no, I just put that in there. <laughs> um, we still have avocados. Um, they aren't ripe yet, so I'm gonna see if I can give those to somebody before they go bad, because we just got some more. And then also from last week, we have a little bit of cauliflower. I used some up today. Um, we have three things of eggplant, um, a little bit of lettuce left and a bag of kale, which I got this from Woolies, but yeah. So now we need to restock all this. I just took off all the grapes um, and filled this um, whole container. Um, I find it easier. We eat them a lot more if they're um, peeled like this. I have not washed them, but when I do um, grab a bunch out to use them, I will use the strainer and give them a rinse before um, we eat them. But I find that um, not washing them makes them last a little bit longer. So this is all the veggies. 
loaded up into my blender and now I just need to add a couple more ingredients um, and then I will blend it up. Okay, I added some nutritional yeast, um, salt and pepper, some hemp seeds, and some of this Atlantic Dulse for some added iodine. Um, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of water to help it blend properly and yeah, give it a blend. This is the finished product. So it is going to be a thick sauce to put with our pasta. I'm going to mix it in with some gluten-free pasta. And yeah, hopefully the kids like it. This is the gluten-free pasta that I'm gonna be using. It's um, macaroni. I have never tried this brand before. It's Pasta Roma. Um, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so hopefully it is good. It is free from gluten, wheat, egg, nut, nuts, milk, soy, and yeast. This is the kids' after-school snack. We've just got some cucumber, red grapes, hummus, and some crackers. Also... Um, cut up all that lettuce because usually when it sits in there it usually goes to waste um, so I got um, four containers um, worth three of these and then oh, <laughs> one second um, and then one of these little salad cups of it this is the finished product I've just cooked up the gluten-free pasta and added the veggies I'm just waiting it for um, I'm just waiting for it to cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna serve it to the kids I did taste test it though and it does taste good Okay, that will be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time.